Well, it's uh, it's a great year for ISRO, a great start for the year. Joining me right now, Chairman of ISRO, Mr. Somnath, sir. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm told it's a complex mission, as you have said earlier. Uh, how was the last few minutes, sir? Was it now racking? No, it's uh, it has been cool. Hmm. We were knowing uh, very well that it's going to happen hmm. because we had done the work very well ahead and did all the simulations to make sure it is going to happen very well. So all of us were enjoying the moment, not okay. uh, not tense at all. Okay. So what next, sir? Uh, now, we are told it sends an image every one minute and so also maintaining it there. Yeah, maintenance will happen, uh, already happening now. So okay. after it has been placed, it is now looking at uh, power generation and bringing mm. back the battery up. After that, it will we will be tracking that orbit and then see next six hours mm. to see it is uh, at the right place that we wanted. So that will happen. After that, there are con continuous operations on various ways to look at the payloads to be switched on. Maybe you can add some po uh, points. No, sir. Oh, the uh, characterization has to happen now, payloads okay. that will go on for a couple of months mm. and then the data will be compared with the ground test results mm. and the calibration will be verified that what has been measured on ground and what we see in space will be correlated mm. so that finally the outcome what is going to be uh, given out as science, science outcome will be validated. Okay. That is the uh, phase that is going to happen from now to maybe next few months. Three, four months it is going to happen. So, what are the challenges that you would look, sir, in this mission in the next few months? In this months? mission, there are many challenges. For example, I will tell Dr. Narayan and propulsion. Hmm. Tell some few points. See, <laughs> see, first and foremost is taking the spacecraft, which is a yes. 1480 kg space, uh, spacecraft, to the elliptical orbit hmm. of the Earth. Hmm. And PSL will be perfectly placed in the required orbit with 20 km dispersion, 19,520 km perfectly it has taken. So all the propulsion system, vehicle system, everything cohesively worked and we have taken. Second challenge is from there we have to take it to L1 point. L1 point is something around 15 lakh kilometers away and we are having um, optimum propellant loaded and with optimally and smart way of working with all algorithm instruments everything we have perfectly taken to the right required place the fuel was so less so we have less, more so, reserves now so, so less yeah. now, in fact when we started we thought the reserve will be very less but mm. today we are having almost 100 kg of fuel left out mm. that gives the guaranteed minimum five years of life mm. it will be slowly ensuring now, and today Today, perfectly, 31 meter per second velocity has to be added. If you see the change is only 31.005, that is the yes, type of number. Right. That's a, so accurate. Yes. So, so that, this accuracy, this has become a, that accuracy comes out of another trick, uh, which uh, Padma Kumar will tell you. Mm -hmm. So he is a person who makes those sensors, mm -hmm. which exactly measures. Tell yeah. some challenges about it. Yeah, actually the accelerometers uh, has to be very precise. Mm -hmm. The point that Dr. Narayan told that we did exactly 31.04 meter per second. Unless the accelerometer rates are accurate enough, we won't be able to reach that uh, uh, exact velocity that we need to get into the halo orbit. So that has been provided by the uh, accelerometers that was developed by IASU team. And the direction also is controlled by the gyroscopes. And the DTGs that we have provided in this mission were so precise that uh, at this 15 uh, lakh kilometer trajectory, we were able to uh, uh, provide the uh, ac very accurate uh, direction information. So, finally, uh, there are multiple uh, uh, satellites there at L1 by various space agencies. How would you see it, uh, Aditya L1, in comparison to that, sir? No, there, let there be more satellites. It is a big space, so nothing will happen to us. Uh, but only point is our satellite is a very unique one in terms of the instruments. Yes. So the seven instruments, nobody has such a wide uh, range of observation capability right from physical observation, to optical observation to magnetic observations. In between you have particle observations, extra observations like that. So it's a very comprehensive suit. I think that is the beauty of our satellite. Yeah. So finally, uh, what next in this year? Nisar is there with a joint uh, <laughs> collaboration with NASA and then perhaps tests of uh, Gaganyaan. Yeah, a lot of, lot of work. Um, for me, the uh, most important work is Gaganyaan. Hmm. So everything is secondary. Hmm. So we are announced that we have to achieve the man mission in 2025. Yeah. Whatever is needed has to be done this year successfully. Yeah. Spare time we will do a lot of things like uh, NISR, uh -huh. commercial missions of PSLV, commercial missions using LVM3, SSLV, RLV, uh, SpadeX and mm. so many other new scientific, TDS one, mm. there are technology development yeah. satellites and things like that. And our hands are full for this year, over and above again. Yeah. Congratulations for this and all the best for the whole year and all Thank these projects. So Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you.